Hi guys, welcome to next video of our Git basics series. And in this video, we are going to talk about how we are going to make use of the remote repository to check in our code and check out the changes and stuff. So we are going to uh, look at how we can use or move our local Git repository that we have been talking about all this time to a remote repository. So the remote repository can be of anything. It can be a Bitbucket, it can be GitLabs, or it can be GitHub or Azure DevOps or whatever it is. I mean, it can be anything. And the one which I'm gonna be using is basically gonna be the GitHub repository. And I already have a GitHub account. So if you don't really have a GitHub account, you could probably go and create one. It's completely free. You can do that. And this is the Xero Automation GitHub repo that we have been using so long. There are so many followers of using this particular code so you can use that particular uh, course if you really want to do to do like for different uh, different testing purposes all right so now the one which i'm going to be doing is basically going to be creating a new repository so i can able to create a new repository using uh, the command line but the easiest way is to use this gui to do that so i'm just going to hit this new and that's going to tell me like create a new repository or you can also import a repository if you already have a project so if you just hit this thing so you can import a repository from your other uh, version control systems and stuff i'm not going to be doing that i'm not rather going to create a, a repository over here so i'm going to tell like git basics cypress something like that so this is the repository name and i can give an optional description uh, over here like git basics demo and i'm gonna leave this as public repository so that everybody have, will have access to it and i'm just gonna leave all these things as it is i'm gonna create a repository over here and you will see that there is a repository being created so this is the new repository which is on the cloud while a lot of people like people working from home, people working from office or anywhere across the globe can access the code that we have written. Because all these days, the code was sitting within our local machine. Only we can have access to it. Now we are going to check in our code on the remote repository so that everybody will have access to our code. So in order to do that, like whatever that I'm going to be telling over here, we need to do what is called as the commit of our code. And then we need to push the code to the remote origin. So I'm just going to do a git commit hyphen m for the message. And then I'm just going to say added all the code for the first time. Something like that. And then once I hit this, you will see that now all the files are in create mode of 10064, which means all these files are in create mode state uh, of this particular uh, file. This is like an uh, like a create mode itself. So if you just go search for uh, git uh, file state uh, 10064, uh, then you will see that this is the file mode uh, of the git itself. And if you just search for f you will see that it is how it is going to be. So this number is going to be always the same if you're going to be doing a file on the create mode itself, which is cool. So now we have really committed a file and then I'm just going to be uh, checking in this code. So you can see that it's going to give you more information. So you have committed it and now you need to get branch to a main branch and then you need to add it. So at the moment, let's say if you just type git branch over here, it will tell you that it is a master branch. Well, Git has changed the terminology of master branch and stuff to main branch. So we can just use that same thing over here as well. So I'm just going to do a Git uh, branch and you can see what it's saying hyphen M of main. So this is like a main branch. So now you can see that from the master it has changed to main over here. And now if I just do a git branch, you can see that the name has been changed from the master to the main branch over here. And this is the only branch that I have got. And now I need to push this particular uh, code to the remote branch. So in order to do that, I'm just going to do a git push of the remote. And now you can ask me, where is this remote repository? Well, 
it is somewhere over here so you can see this is the place you are going to be pushing the record but you can't just go and push the code to the remote branch something like this you will see that there is going to be an error coming up well the reason of that particular error is because you need to first of all tell the git of this local repository that i need to add the origin of the remote repository so you can see that there is a git remote of add of the origin which is going to be of this particular address that i'm going to be using this one so remote origin remote add origin of this particular repository if you tell that which means now you can see this is the code this is the origin name that i'm going to be pushing in that particular change and now if i just do a git push of or maybe we can just do a git push over here but you will see that there is going to be an error which tells you that you need to set the upstream branch just don't worry about the upstream branch and stuff at the moment but uh, let's just go with whatever the information is coming up over here so it says git push set upstream origin main which is correct so i can do that over here and because i'm doing a push all the code that we have available we have on the create mode at the moment is now being sent to the origin itself so you can see that there is so many things happening at the moment there is going to be a delta compression using up to eight threads uh, which means it's compressing all our files uh, and compressing the object to 100 percentage and then it is writing the particular file so there were like 34 files before um, so all these files are now gone uh, and it's been sent to the uh, origin from the main branch that we had all right now let's do a git status you will see that on the branch main and your branch is up to date with the origin main so which means it's telling me that currently it is now up to date with the origin main itself so what has really happened over here so if you refresh this page you will see that our code is actually sitting at this particular point of time and there is the cypress folder with all the code which was sitting within our local machine is now being pushed to the remote origin which is cool and now if i make any changes on my local machine then it is only going to make the change on the local machine unless until we do a push to the remote branch so there is not going to be any change happening on that so now you can tell your uh, your co-worker or colleague or your friend to check out your code from this particular url that is available so they can do all sort of things i mean i will tell you how to clone the repo and everything in our next video but as of now you can see that this is what is going to really happen on adding your code to the origin or the remote repository using git